mambo yakuwa mchungaji haikuingia mimi those days my, my, my father used to drink alikuwa mulevi mama yangu alikuwa anapiga pombe i joined kavyanga high school and there was something called monolization una unamwagiwa machi kwa kwa kitanda wa birugut agotometry ni mgonjo very fast reaching hospital i for polar process nikawa injected nilikufa mpenzi mtazamaji hujambo ni jumanne nyingine njema ambayo Mwenyezi Mungu ameifanya tunakusanyika kwa pamoja kwa mapenzi na neema yake Mwenyezi Mungu kutoka kaunti ya Narok tukijumuika na mtumishi wake Mwenyezi Mungu kumbuka hichi ni kipindi cha changamoto za kiroho maana na ambapo tunaangazia changamoto za kiroho za wachungaji safari zao yale na ambayo wamepitia maishani ili kuweza kufanyika baraka maishani mwa wengi na kwa taifa nzima langu jina ni Kelvin Kariba na siku sipo peke yangu siku ya leo kama ada nipo na mtumishi wake Mwenyezi Mungu Askofu Ruguta Asante tena sana karibu kwa mara nyingine karibu tena sana Asante Asante Naam karibu tena sana na tunafurahi sana kufika mahali hapa na kwa kukubali mwaliko wetu pia nashukuru sana Asante Na pengine mtu anapokuuliza Askofu Ruguti ni nani Ah uh, nasa kusema kwamba mm -hmm. Askofu Ruguti ni I'm just a family man Yes Ngoma niita Yes Ilisaliwa in around 1965. Yes. Sina hakika. Mhm. Mm Maana wazazi wangu yes. hapo wamesoma. Mhm. Mm But when I was in school, I wrote I was born in 15 of November. Yes. 1965. Yes. It was it was a case kind of a a death. Mhm. Mm And by God's grace nikasoma primary school. Nikaenda form 4, mm -hmm. form 6, yes. university. Mhm. Mm Nikaitimu kama an engineer. Mm -hmm mambo ya agriculture. Yes. And I served in government for 13 years. Mm -hmm. I'm also married. Mm -hmm. By God's grace I have been blessed by by God with one wife. Mm -hmm. Na watoto watano. Yes. Wasichana watatu mm -hmm. na vijana wawili. Mm -hmm. Wasichana wawili wameshaolewa. Mm -hmm. Watatu imwaga na mimi nataolewa. Na vijana waangalie kwa masomo. Naam. Pengine umetaja maswala kadhaa umetaja kuhusu elimu na umetaja kuhusu maisha yako ulipokuwa mtoto ulipozaliwa pengine maisha yako ukiwa mtoto yalikuwa vipi uh, familia yetu ni familia ambayo walikuwa chini kidogo mm -hmm. so tulikuwa tu kama i can say below average standard yes. lakini kwa neema za Mungu mm -hmm. wangu akapenda masomo So they struggle kuna kwa nimesoma. Mhm. Mm ilifika kiwango when I lost my father yes. go from two. Mm -hmm. It's like things became hard. Singe chuan taendelea. Mm -hmm. Lakini mama akasema we shall sell land. Shamba ikauswa. Yes. Ile nisome. Mm -hmm. Malise I'm at the mean from five, from six. Mm -hmm. By God's grace those days university I finished university in 1990. Yes. University those days they were giving us boom. Mm -hmm. Yaani idea ni kuchi mtu maisha. So I can say in short we passed through a lot of challenges in a uh, upbringing up. Mm -hmm. No? First of all my mother walikuwa na pika pombe. No. You know? They, 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 they used to make changa. Yes. For us to survive mm -hmm. when we were very young. Mm -hmm. Like when she left changa and went to church. To kala kanisani, just give me a story my mother my mother used to tell us when somebody died mm -hmm. in a neighborhood. Yes. Bada kuno changa akakufa. That's the last day my mother stopped making changa. But I started now making pusa. You see each people pengine. So we live a life which was like that in the early beginning. But kwa nema sa Mungu God left us and she loved education. My parents loved so that's why they they while in first kwa masomo. Baka wakaenda kuuza ta shamba ili nisome. Yeah. Na wakati ulipokuwa mdogo 
unitaka kuwa nini? Mtu angekuuliza siku mo, angekuambia siku moja utakuwa mchungaji ama utakuwa mhandisi engineer. Ingekuja unge, ungethania hilo litatimia. Unitaka kuwa nini ukiwa mtoto? Unashua mtu akiwa mdogo, mm -hmm. you think of things a pilot? Yes. Taktari. Mm -hmm. Lakini kwa engineer kuna my neighbor ambaye alikuwa amera university. Yes. I think it was the first one in our village. Mm -hmm. Kuna university. Mm -hmm. I was born in Kericho County. Mm -hmm. yeah? uh, and then we shifted to a place called Pomet. Yes. We are now Pomet County. Yes. So my neighbor alikuwa engineer. Na tuliko na sikia kwa na university. Mm -hmm. So he became a role model. He is called engineer Sang. Mm -hmm. So ni kampenda ni kiwana ya kicha from university. I said, I want to be also an engineer. Yes. But now before that time, I cannot, I can say, I think I have plan, but by course, Chris, because I saw him at yes. university, mm -hmm. as an engineer, mm -hmm. I learned civil engineering, I said, I want to be an engineer. Mm -hmm. So he became a role model. Yes. And I can fuwa taye. Mambo wakua mchungaji, I could hear him those days. I took him to Koka. We were just ordinary people. I don't know my parents used to, my, my, my father used to drink. Alikuwa mulevi. Mama yangu alikuwa na pika pombe. So, there was nothing about, about, about getting uh, saved. However, we joined church when I was a young boy. When my parents left Alco, we joined church. Tuka wa katholiki When I was young. Yes. And uh, nika, nika, nika patiswa. Nika kuwa confirm. But there was something funny. I used to go to church as a young boy. Yes. And I could hear a voice in me, mm -hmm. telling me, you are in the wrong place. Yes. I can't explain that today. No. As a young boy, I could hear a voice. I'm just in the church. Like a chini, a young boy. I'm following the program of the church. Mm -hmm. But I could hear a voice telling me, you are in the wrong place. Mm -hmm. For a long time. Until I joined Form 1. That's the time when I got saved. Mm -hmm. In 1981. I joined Kabianga High School. Mm -hmm. And there was something called monolization. Yes. Form 2s were rising from 1s. Mm -hmm. And the Christian Union was the same place. Those who were in the CU were very humble. So I wanted to join, to join the CU Kuchificha. So we have Fita ya. Fita ya Form 2s. Una mm usiku. -hmm. I mean, you do a lot of, a lot of funny things. Mm -hmm. So, but the CU members were very lovely. They were humble. Yes. So I joined CU to hide myself mm -hmm. from monolization. Yes. That's when I received Christ. That is when you met Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes, I got saved in Form 1 mm -hmm. in 1981. Mm -hmm. I, a Form 1 putting on Kaptula and putting on shoes for the first time. Since Adam was created, see, when I felt before, it was my first time to put the shoes when I was going to form one. Mm -hmm. Now, going back uh, to Babayako, Alikuwa na kunywa pombe, and uh, your mother used to sell changa in those days and busa. It did not affect you personally. Well, when, well, in, in the beginning, yes. I can say it affected me much because I was still young. Mm -hmm. I was still. Yes. My mother left growing when I was around standard five, somewhere there. Mm -hmm. But in that early beginning, mm -hmm. I can tell you I alcohol I tested. But <laughs> even during ceremonies, during ceremonies when my sister was my sister was circumcised. Mm -hmm. You know? My sister was circumcised. Through a big ceremony, alcohol was made and of course we couldn't drink. Kidogo. Even our neighbors. But uh, I can't say it affected to me too much. Because uh, after around when I was at five, started at six, we left alcohol mm -hmm. and went to church. Mm -hmm. So we went to now went to church. That's what I was telling you when I was in primary school. We used to be so committed in church and Catholic, and uh, each of us were committed. Because my mother was saying, I, "I'm tired of being alcohol." So we went to church now, and the, the first church we went to was the church I have talked about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now in Form One, you have become a teen. Mm. Na umekuta na mungu, umemjua mungu umeokoka sasa. Yes. Safari yako ya kutoka hapo, ya sasa kuokoka, uamuzi wako wa kuokoka, safari yako kutoka hapo, ilikuwa vipi? Well, in the school, it was always exciting yes. to be the Christian Union. Mm -hmm. And I got saved ili akabisa. 
ile maanisha ya ukweli ya ukweli mm -hmm. na kulikuwa na a lot of teachings yes. eh? we have men that's like reverend mulandi they used to come to school reverend kibruto bishop kibruto of, of the reverend church kericho mm -hmm. they used to come and teach us yes. so i can say my foundation mm -hmm. was built on holiness yes. and righteousness mm -hmm. however when i come home i am not getting the same nourishment mm -hmm. i was getting in school yes. so i find a double life yes. in the school mm -hmm. i'm enjoying salvation yes. at home so we walk like that i must tell you sometime i come back slide in the village <laughs> i go back to school mm -hmm. i again go back to christ i repent again simply because of the condition of the village there was no much salvation no much christianity you know that's kind of my life I, I lived in that humble beginning however when i finished and i went to form five i was spirit filled when i was in form five in Kerichuai, and my life took another direction again I became now to be serious in salvation, understand about spiritual things. And I came now, we shift, we shift now from that church, we joined a Protestant church in the village, which actually I can say my love again took another tire, direction. direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Na sasa, uh, pengine kitu ambacho nimejifunza kidogo, tutuna poendelea. Wakati ulipokuwa ukienda nyumbani, ulikuwa na mwasi mungu kereja shuleni, unampenda mungu kumanisha, there was a gap that you felt was void when you came back to school? A gap that only Jesus could fill? Yes. Yes. You see, one thing is this. When we are, uh, before I got saved, when I had the gospel in school, and I saw people were preaching, the one who came through to us, one of them was when used, used to drive. I say myself, if somebody who's a tribe, who's on a few, can believe in Jesus, that this must be real. I could sit down and see you before I got saved. Somebody was preaching to us, look very smart. I have come from, I've told you, I am putting on shoes for the first time yes. since I was born. Mm -hmm. I never put on a shoe. Even the school used to go to form one who was borrowed money. Those days the school fees, I can remember, it was 650 shillings. My father tried to sell a cow, and I met a neighbor. Never asked him, what are you looking for? He said, I'm looking for school fees for my son. Yes, come to Kabianga. He was told no. Saya gonna pay your pesa kumbe. How much do you want? I must say call Aramandani. He removed money, six fifty. I got my father. I want to go to form one. So now, when I saw people preaching to us, they look very smart. You have somebody who is, uh, and I ask myself, if somebody like this is preaching and is born again, then I need this Jesus. That's what made me to receive Christ. Now again, I'm telling you, when you come to the, again, the village, you find things are, but I, when I, I can always feel, when I, when I go down, I, just, I feel there's something that's a void in me, you know, which I felt when I received Christ, I felt complete. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So after Form 6, huh, uh, you went to the university? Yes. You became an engineer? Yes. What was the process? All my process in school, mm -hmm. the biggest challenge I used to have mm -hmm. was school fees. Yes. Every time they are chasing the school fees of vendors, or what you call defaulters, mm -hmm. I was always in the list. Yes. Always in the list. Mm -hmm. I can't forget uh, in Form 6, mm -hmm. when we were filling forms to go to university. First of all, I left Form 4 mm -hmm. with arrears of school fees. She could my Form 4 certificate, even my living. She could pay a man, she could make clear school fees. And uh, I left the Kabianga with arrears of 4,000. I said, she wanted to sleep, she wanted to leave certificate. I went to Form 5 and Form 6. In Form 6, to just a Form here university, there is a place here to chasa, to I had the following in Form 4. Mrs. Yes. Chui. Send your results. I went to Form 5 miraculously. Mm -hmm. I was born again mm -hmm. and love God. I was praying. Now I was given only a letter to Form 5. Pila Kuanyeshua, my results, mm -hmm. because I had arrears. Are we together there? Yes. Now reaching, reaching Form 6, Kuna Form Nyakuchasa, when the university, Sikamar Sai, Sai people feel after the results are out. Mm -hmm. Those days, Napa form, 
ya kwenda kuchasa kwenye university mm -hmm. na kuna pahali ya kuchasa your results ya form 4 mm -hmm. misi chui when i was being in form 5 admitted mm -hmm. i was a unique case mm -hmm. because in a result slip in a max no. i have a letter mm -hmm. it is the principal who actually admitted me mm -hmm. i'm mr rotich the one who was admitting us sent me to him mm -hmm. because my case was unique mm -hmm. and the principal will say admit him wow. i explained my case now the story, and when I was now going to form university, mm -hmm. this form we are given to fill. See, during my my marks yeah, from from four, mm -hmm. I left the form in the locker. Wow, that process of joining the university and uh, everything allow me allow me to take a short breaker, yeah. but we'll be right back with the process of joining university, your spiritual life back in the university and everything. Penzi mtazamaji, shukran kwa kuendelea kutazama runinga ya mwangaza. Kumbuka, ichi ni kipindi cha changamoto za kireho, lakini usiondoke tunarejea baada ya mudo sio kwa mrefu. Karibu mpenzi mtazamaji kwa mara nyingine kwenye kipindi cha changamoto za kiroho mahali na ambapo wao tunaangazia safari za wachungaji na kama nilivyokueleza tulipokuwa tukitanguliza wakati wa sasa tupo na mtumishi askofu kutoka kaunti ya Narok ambaye anatueleza safari yake safari ya kiroho yake imekuwa vipi changamoto ambazo amekutana nazo kuanzia kukosa fedha za shule a, changamoto za nyumbani pamoja na kumjua Mwenyezi Mungu akiwa katika shule ya sekondari unaendelea kutazama runinga ya mwangaza karibu kwa mara nyingine askofu Tunashukuru kwa mara nyingine pia kwa kuwa pamoja nasi na kuendelea kutupatia simulizi yako ya maisha kuendelea kutia wa Kenya moyo kuendelea kutia watazamaji moyo wale ambao wanakutazama wakiwa nyumbani wanapata motisha wa kuendelea na maisha wanapata kuelewa kuwa bado kesho yote yanawezekana tulikuwa wakati ambapo ulikuwa unajiunga na chuo kikuu ulikuwa unaingia chuo kikuu and uh, ulikuwa unatuelezea kuhusu safari yako haukuwa umemaliza school fees haukuwa na kila kitu ulikuwa sasa unajaza form ujoin university Ningependa utueleze sasa wakati ulipo jiunga na chuo kikuu sasa changamoto za kiroho ama maisha yako ya kiroho yalienda vipi Let me give us kwanza ya kuingia university Yes Kule hamira ko chapen which I always nashukuru Mungu nikifikiria yale yanatendea Yes Ni kama Mungu hii form ya kuchasa ili ni join university iko kwa loka Yes the last day, the Kariyamasa said, mm -hmm. today is the last day mm -hmm. to collect those forms. Are you aware? Yes. I go to university. University. Mimi nika nika hamba mungu. I told God. Yes. Come man, nita ingia university. Let me fill this form. Yes. Come man, nita ingia. Ajeka. Ajeka. It is the last day. Your forms were collected. No ni elewa. Nika na kuvisi ya prisipo. Nika ambia tafatali ubikie simu prisipo lwa kabianga. Ani akuambia my max ya form four mara sana. Akani ambia bichana sana authority. Kwa utarais prisipo mungi ne akupe max. However, nita kuandiki ya parua. Uende kabianga na akupatia max akareka barua akaka kwa pasha akasili so because uko kuna pesa nikasema let me take lunch alafu niende kabianga from kiricho high to kabianga is a bit distance something happened which always i appreciate god and always keep that god is real when you go for lunch for the first time normally maparua inaitwa na head boy hapo nje ya dining room Parua ikaitua. For the first time, I got a letter. I had my name. Augustine Rugut. Mara nyingi nilipua ngumu pata parua. From Yumbani. Manielewa? Unless Mr. Mekufa. Pata parua, I got shocked. Ini anini. Kufungua iyo parua. Ilikuwa na my marks. Ya fufu. Amini usi amini. I got shock. Back a leo, see Chui who wrote those marks. 
siku la lunch nikakimbia kuchasa form ya form 6 ya kuchasa the courses now that that place ya kuchasa max mm -hmm. from that day i knew in my heart i am going to university nilikuwa nimeambia Mungu kama sita na university e form za chasa when i got those marks i i was excited over, overwhelmed mm -hmm. na furaha I went and filled the form yes. and I knew God in you know, a miraculous way I met you my own So before exam when I had exam I knew it a Peter because Mungu amechuma my own biliomba we go to university God did something supernatural Yeah wow I'm telling the truth up to today is a testimony even I've seen this church nimeambia when I remember as many times that God is a miracle worker nimeona mimi mwenyewe in many ways before that time also I used to be very sick, a stickling boy. Nilikuwa na koncheka, ribs hapa ilikuwa na little of pain. Even nilikuwa nimesha katua. Eh? The incision, if, if I open my shirt, sahi, kuna incisions le katua, katua na my, my, my grandmother. I used to be so sickling. Nikuwa from five, from six. In a week, I couldn't get sick three days. I'm in class two days. There was one time, a chemistry teacher came to class. And ask, what be good? I got tometry. Ni mugonjo. The following day he came, what be good? I got tometry. Ni mugonjo. Uyo mwalimu, the sai, alikuwa muindi. He came back tometry. Alikuwa old muse. Me kote masi one. I'm sorry. He passed so many years ago. The muindi came to the tometry. He took me to hospital. Kirichot Royal Hospital. Very fast. Kirichot Hospital. That's what miracle happened. Nika akani peleka haraka asa mayu nikishana and I went from five from six and I university treated very fast. I was treated. I was injected. I for a polar process. Nika was injected. Can I surprise you? Yes. I died there. Nili kufa. I explain to you. Something happened after getting injection. I had in my body something running. Cha 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 cha. I went back, I told the doctor, I'm dying. I don't know what happened from there. After some time, Niliamuka, one of my taktari wa mecha kwa yogitanda. And uh, I, first of all, before I woke up, Niliskia wa kisungumusa, from very far, like a trim. Some were saying, mwalimu aleta ye. So I had them discussing, from very far, like a trim. From very... Like a dream. 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 And I ran away like a, like a mad person. They followed me again and brought me back to the bed. Again, 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 again. What happened? That's the, the, the story short. Uh, I became allergic to penicillin. I thought I told me, young man, ulikuwa meenda. Shukuru mungu wako. Ulikuwa me? Uliku meenda. Ulikuwa meenda. Kumbe, I became allergic to penicillin. Hata wali nalika parua. Kusema, this boy is allergic to penicillin. So, wali nyambia, shukuru mungu. Ulikuwa umeenda. That's why I always say, I died for some minutes kwa hiyo, hiyo kitanda. That's what happened. But then, the woman doctor who came to my bed. So I saw God and the safe for a time like this. Wow. Yeah. Na safari yako ya kuwa mhandisi sasa, mm -hmm. ya kuwa engineer, ilianza vipi na ilikuwa vipi mpaka ukawacha hiyo kazi? Now, thank you. But I was university. I joined the university in 1990. First of all, I went to NYS. Those days, mm -hmm. but I was from, from six. Tulikuwa na ingia NYS for three months. Mm -hmm. And I can tell the truth. Pale NYS. Mm -hmm. Because of those challenges una, una ingia. Mm -hmm. That's the day my pipe in the summer. Mm -hmm. I could pray a lot. I could read a lot with the pipe. Mm -hmm. And then by God's grace, I finished now my course. I create mm -hmm. engineering. Yes. I start preaching. Let me come back a bit. Nyanza kubiri ni kiwa form six. Kwanza kubi? Kwanza kubiri. Nikuwa form? Six. After form, after form six. Nikawa mwalimu. Yes. Nikaansa kubiri. 
in my village, also with my friends. And then I went to university. Yes. You go to university because I was chairman of a Christian evangelistic team. I was the founder yes. of that university of a team called Christian Evangelistic. To look at our nice kwenda kwa missions in in our county. So that is when the ministry started in you form six. I can say the ministry started within me. We go Nikwa now form six. I could feel my spirit. I, I couldn't sometimes trim Niki Ubiri. I could have some trims Niki Ubiri Awatu. But I can say when I was now in the university, uh, the ministry now became molded. I felt now an inspiration to serve God. And also through some prophetic words, when some people just going to come and preach and pray over my life and could prophesy that I have a calling. And I could see that calling coming. You know, I can share with people and people can receive Christ. You know what I'm saying? So now I can say in our university, I became again the CEO a serious Christian. I became a non cell leader. In the university, we used to have home cells in the, in the hostels. And I became one of the pastors of the hostels in the university. Yes. So that's why now I also became a chairman of Kericho Evangelistic Team. Mm-hmm. We used to organize for missions to Kericho, to our villages. And that's how I started now, start preaching. Mm-hmm. And I could now sense in my spirit that God is calling me yes. to serve him. Yeah. Now, on that journey, you went back to preaching in Form 6. You are telling us about your journey as an engineer and uh, quitting engineering. Okay, okay, let me come visit. Yes. So now when I finished university mm-hmm. in 1990, mm-hmm. I got married the same year. Mm-hmm. In December, 21st of December 1990. Mm-hmm. I married to my, to my, my dear wife, Nancy. Mm-hmm. Real good. And I was now still, uh, I looked for employment for three years. Mm-hmm. I became a teacher. I, under, under BOG, Board of Management. In this teaching now, I was still preaching. I started, I've not started, started preaching now. Mm-hmm. When I was in university, I started preaching in university. Mm-hmm. I am now again preaching. Mm-hmm. So after three years, in 1993, I was employed by the Ministry of Agriculture. I went to Meru, a place called Maua. Mm-hmm. That's Nyambene yes. District by 10. Mm-hmm. It's now Meru North. And I also caught works. The one who went worst at me in, in, in Nyambene was my member in a home cell in the university. It's a long story. I may not give you that story now. Yes. But you know, in God, in God's own way of dealing with human beings, mm-hmm. I reached Meru in Apesa, eh? new employment. Now from there, you are the host in, in a miraculous like way I caught him. He was my member in the home cell in the university. So he hosted me, so I became an Easternan for some years. Mm-hmm. I served in Meru for three years. Yes. I came to Narok yes. in 1996. Mm-hmm. I served in Narok for another, another 10 years. Mm-hmm. However, I started ministry in 201, Jesus Gospel Power Ministries, mm-hmm. where I am now the presiding bishop. Yes. So I knew very well in my heart that I will not serve in government for long. Mm-hmm. There, was an, there was always an inspiration. Mm-hmm. There was always an inner voice. Yes. I can't explain to you very well. Mm-hmm. But there was an inner voice mm-hmm. that God is calling me to full-time ministry. Mm-hmm. I told my wife that uh, one day I will leave government to serve in full-time. Even many people are telling me, why are you in government? You are called. You should not be in this office. And I couldn't even stop to be doing like that. I could feel no, surely. I'm only here because of money, <laughs> nothing else. Mm-hmm. But I knew in my spirit, there's a voice telling me I'm not supposed to be here. So I, I serve in government, but in 2006, I left government for full-time ministry. Wow. You will tell us in the next episode, next week on Tuesday, you will be telling us about whether you had a backup plan when you quitted the government <laughs> job or you just did it with faith that everything will work well. Thank you so much for your time. Asante sana mpenzi mtazamaji kwa sasa kwa sababu ya muda. Simulizi ni ya kutia moyo, simulizi ni ya kutujenga sote. Lakini kwa sababu ya muda, tupatane wiki jayo, siku ya jumane, 
papa hapa kwenye runinga ya mwangaza tuendeleze na simulizi yake askofu Augustine Ruguta asante kwa kuendelea kutazama changamoto za kiroho